nerdies, it's Kathleen I'm here. I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing well in Incheon. Just walking through the street and admiring this beautiful, huge city. Look at that. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and the Hey nerdies, it's Kathleen Ums here, and I'm finally settled in my apartment in South Korea. So if you didn't know this already, I was hired for a teaching job for a private school in South Korea and moved here two weeks ago. Now, the first two weeks were incredibly rough. I was getting used to my new schedule and I had some horrific, horrific jet lag. I ended up traveling longer than any of the other teachers traveled to get here. Um, so basically everything that could go wrong with my body went wrong. The, my travel time was roughly 24 hours, including my flights and my layovers, but it was more like 30 hours and I felt totally fine until I landed in Japan. And I'm not sure if it was motion sickness. I think part of it was motion sickness because after I left the plane, I still felt all the turbulence and movement of the plane, even though I had just landed in Japan. So like an hour into my layover, I started to feel dizzy. But also in Japan, I decided to have some takeout sushi, which you should never do in any country, even Japan. Um, and when I, when I take out, I mean, that kind of sushi that's like been sitting there for a while and looks kind of suspect. So I get to Korea finally, and I'm in my hotel and passed out. I slept a couple of hours, wasn't able to sleep the whole night, but I slept a couple of hours. And we wake up the next morning, we have to go to the hospital to do some testing. So one thing that's mandatory if you work in South Korea as a foreigner is for you to be tested for your health and basically drug tested because they don't want anyone to come over here under the influence and teach their children. They're really not cool with drugs here. You can get as drunk as you want at any time of the day, but you can't do drugs here, so. So I think the hour that I spent doing these tests was probably one of the most humiliating and bizarre hours of my life. I went to the hospital with the seven other girls that were going to teach with me, the new teachers, because there are about three foreign teachers that are staying from last year. And one of the old foreign teachers came with us and was explaining things, helping us get through the experience because going through medical tests and stuff is really awkward as it is, but having to do all that with a language barrier is even worse. So gradually the tests get more and more weird. And then I have to get an x-ray of my chest. And so one of the nurses says to me, all off all off and she does this motion. So I assume that she wants me to take all of my clothes off. So here I am like taking all my clothes off and like stepping out of my shoes and she starts muttering to the other nurse in Korean and laughing. And she says, no. And she grabs my shoe and puts it back on my foot. She's like, no shoe, no shoe. And after several attempts of me like trying to take my pants off, I realized that I'm not supposed to take all of my clothes off. I'm just supposed to take my shirt off and my bra off. So, um, yeah, so that was pretty embarrassing. And 
I later, right after that, have to pee in a cup that they use for coffee and then without a lid, walk from the bathroom with your pee in your hand to the nurse and say, here, here's my pee. Um, it was so embarrassing, but thankfully all the other teachers, we were just laughing and making fun of the whole situation. And I'm not meaning to say by all of this that Korea is like a weird country or anything because people do this at doctor's offices like everywhere. There are some things that are a little bit different, but like doctor's offices are just awkward no matter where you go, but it's more awkward when you know barely any of the language. Then I'm told that I am insanely dehydrated by the doctors and that I need to drink more. Actually, one of the, one of the teachers was translating for me and he said that I needed to drink more water and I had to pee again. So I go to the water cooler and I start chugging water. And all of a sudden I just feel this like wave again. I feel just as bad as I felt at the Japanese airport. So I have to sit down, but I feel like the room is spinning and I just feel really crappy. So my first instinct is, okay, I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'm gonna go to the toilet. I, I have to crap. So I am sitting on the toilet and I apologize. We'll try to keep as much imagery out of your mind as possible. But you guys, I had the shits. Like I had insane diarrhea. It was awful. It wouldn't stop. Finally, it got to the point where it like stopped and I just wanted to die. Then I realized that I don't know how to flush this toilet. You know, I, I have my diarrhea and I want to flush it away because it's kind of embarrassing. I've been embarrassed this whole day by this whole experience. And I don't know how to flush this goddamn toilet. So, you know, I don't see a handle anywhere. I just see all of these buttons in Korean. And my Korean is not good enough to know what all of these words are. Like, I know how to read Korean food. That's what I studied, but not this shit. So, I just start pressing buttons. You know, I, I'm out of my chair and I'm just like pressing buttons. I'm not sitting on the toilet. I'm just pressing buttons. And all of a sudden, this little thing comes out of the toilet and it starts spraying water all of this stall, all over. I'm getting drenched. The stall is getting drenched and I'm about ready to cry because I don't know how to stop it. I like keep pressing buttons. One button like is like, just has air coming out of the toilet as well as well as water and I just get to the point where I just shut the, the, the lid and the, the whole stall is like flooding <laughs> what is wrong with my life and I'm about ready to just like sit in the puddle of water of toilet water all over the stall because I'm so upset. I finally click the button and realize that the handle for the toilet was right behind me. Yeah. You just gotta learn that you're gonna get embarrassed with your life and the older you get, the more embarrassed you get and you just live to accept and love yourself despite the fact that you have diarrhea in a foreign country and you don't know how to flush the toilet, okay? So even though I heard horror stories about hogwans or private schools, as they're called, don't care about teachers and when they're sick, one of my managers or directors, she took me to the doctor and she explained to the doctor in Korean what I was feeling, how I was having diarrhea, and she bought me some soup to help my stomach, she got me medicine, and she let me take the rest of the day off and sleep. And so I am just so blessed to have amazing coworkers and an amazing boss. I work with an amazing school and it's very stressful. Like my job is incredibly stressful. Working with kids is hard and um, there, are, there are classes that really challenge me, but I am very passionate about my kids learning and even on really hard days, I have great people that I work with that I can just turn to 
and vent to. And um, I know that living in a foreign country, there will be challenges that I face on a daily basis that I have to work through. But I have an amazing community of people that can help me. These last two weeks have been incredible. I have had incredible, amazing Korean food. Korean food is so freaking good. I'm about to try hot dog for the very first time. This kind lady just made it for me. Oh, it's super hot. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's like a donut. It's like filled with sweet goodness. Oh my god. What do you think? It's so good. <laughs> oh my god. But there are some weird things here and there that I'm just like, nah. Like acorn jelly is just this gelatin, savory, jelly, jelly disgustingness. But other than that, everything's really good. The ramen here just ruined me. I feel like I can't go home because the food here is so freaking good. And the people here are so sweet. Uh, there's many times where I've been trying to take the subway and I've gotten incredibly lost, but there's always someone, if you live in Seoul or Incheon, there's always someone that speaks English or enough English that will come up to you and say, hey, are you lost? Can I help you? So anyways, about my channel. So in terms of Let's Plays and whatnot, things are a little bit slow move moving because I didn't have Wi-Fi. Now I just discovered a ethernet cable in my apartment, which is godsend. Uh, so I will be able to upload more videos and I do plan on doing my Tales from the Borderlands Let's Play. That will be up on my channel soon, hopefully this week. And I know a lot of people have asked me about Until Dawn. I don't plan on playing that game I saw trailers of it and it didn't seem like a game I would enjoy and I've watched Let's Plays of it. It's just not a kind of game that I would enjoy playing. Um, but there will be more Let's Plays and content. I'm, I plan on getting a gaming PC with my new paycheck coming up because this will be the first time that I like have enough money to live comfortably because <laughs> I haven't experienced that in so long. So um, I think the content will get much better on my channel. And I'm gonna include, I've included in this video content of me traveling through Korea. I will be doing a lot more videos like that because I plan on getting a better travel camera to shoot stuff like that. So I'm super excited about the content that I'm gonna be making in this country. I wanna share with you, those of you who don't get to experience Korean culture, I wanna share with you how amazing it is here and you know some of the challenges I face here as well. So I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. I should go. Oh, also make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep up updated because in these long pauses between videos, which hopefully will happen less and less now, you can keep updated with me through social media. So please do that so that you can know that what I'm doing and that I'm all good and well, okay? Adios. But I started reading this as soon as it started because I'm already a fan of Brian K. Vaughn's work. He also read- I kinda wanna watch Blade Runner. I don't think I've ever watched one. Oh my god. I need that mix for her when we're done.